Xiaomi made a name for itself with its range of affordable smartphones that offer incredibly good value for money. But this one right here, the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra is not that kind of device anymore. Retailing at 4,299 ringgit, this is without a doubt an expensive smartphone. But I do think it has what it takes to take on other devices at this price range. And this is our hands-on of the Mi 11 Ultra. Since the Mi 11 Ultra's camera performance is one of its main highlights, let's talk about that first. This phone has a triple camera system made out of a 15MP primary sensor, a 48MP ultra wide angle lens, and a 48MP telephoto sensor that can do 5 times optical zoom. I've tested out the zooming performance of this phone quite a bit and it's actually very impressive. You can take a look for yourself with these sample shots. As you can see, even at 120 times digital zoom, this phone still has pretty good detail preservation, although I did take the shots under ideal lighting. With that in mind, it will be interesting to see if this camera can still deliver this level of performance in more challenging lighting situations. Aside from that, it's worth mentioning that there is also a 1.1 inch AMOLED panel right beside the three camera sensors. It's meant to be a viewfinder if you want to take selfie shots with the rear camera or you want to show incoming notifications with the small screen. It's a novel feature but I do think it's a little bit gimmicky so I do need to use the phone as my daily driver first for a more conclusive opinion. I can, however, say this with certainty. I absolutely do not like the huge camera bump on the back of this phone. Not only does it stick out of the phone in a very jarring manner, the sheer size of the module also further draws attention to it and it just doesn't look nice at all in my opinion. Anyway, at least the Mi 11 Ultra looks and feels very premium. It has an IP68 rated chassis, a ceramic back, a sleek 6.81 inch 1440p AMOLED display with a fast 120Hz refresh rate, not to mention the fact that it curls on either side of the phone. And overall, it just feels like a proper flagship smartphone, especially considering you're paying 4,299 ringgit for this device. In the performance department, the Mi 11 Ultra will not disappoint. It comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset which promises flagship level performance. I mean, it is Qualcomm's best flagship yet, so you can expect this phone to be very fast, very responsive, and you can game very effectively on this device as well. Performance is not the only thing that's fast about the Mi 11 Ultra. Its charging speed is also very impressive. According to Xiaomi, this device's 5000 mAh battery can be fully charged in only 36 minutes, regardless of wired or wireless charging. This is thanks to the 67W charging and I would test it out for myself if I can, but I can only do that in the full review of this device. As a whole, I do think the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra is a proper flagship smartphone through and through, but I do have reservation because from my past experience reviewing Xiaomi smartphones, I am always disappointed with the software experience of these devices. So it remains to be seen if this will be a problem with the Mi 11 Ultra as well. And I can only really get the feel for this once I use it as my daily driver. Yes, 4,299 ringgit for this device is quite expensive, but that is the going rate of proper flagship smartphones in the market now, which I think the Mi 11 Ultra can compete with quite competitively. I'm impressed with its camera quality, performance, as well as build quality, and it will be interesting to see if I will be impressed with its software experience as well, which is to me the biggest question mark about the Mi 11 Ultra right now. And that's it for our quick hands-on with the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and always stay tuned for more good stuff to come here on this channel and nextwave.com.